Hey guys, Odin here, the coach of Davos Rainbow Six, and I'm here to recap week 5 in this episode of the After Action Report. In our 5th week of Apex South, we came up against Wildcat Gaming in a duo die match to keep us from facing relegation. After picks and bans, we were heading to Coastland. After 9 rounds, Wildcat was sitting on match point, trying to edge out the team for the win. And he starts to swing on through, Emo does fall, Pika tries to get out, ED punished by Geo. Pika's still alive, but can Wildcard zone him out of the game? This is just another thing that Dials do, they really just throw bodies at everything. Pika oh again, my God. speaking of throwing bodies at everything, Pika is throwing himself at everything. He is putting Dials on his back a bit right here. He's really keeping oh him in this, God. and yet again, Dev, triple killed, open the round from Pika. V2, Jackie Wu on the floor, Souffle finally opens it up for DW as they get the first pick, Ooh. and Souffle again! Surely not, surely not again! Pika is dead, but Souffle can take his place! It is a 2v2! And Souffle is hungry for more. He's cooking up a storm and he can get another one. Surely this is overtime. Absolutely nothing that Vinny can do to clutch this. And Souffle gets the ace to push Direwolves into overtime. The team dug deep and won the following four rounds to force overtime and continue on to take the match 8-7, giving us the overtime win and much needed points to get us further away from relegation. I think our performance was pretty good. We managed to achieve a couple of things that we didn't manage to do this whole year. First of all, we managed to win against Wildcard. Secondly, we won our first overtime game. And thirdly, we managed to do a comeback from 3-6 on a map that we weren't prepared on. The team is feeling great. We are really happy and confident after our win against Wildcard. In our final player week, we come up against Knights in an important must-win matchup to secure our spot for Apex South 2022. Moving on to the Taiwan League in week 5, we came up against King in the North in Ordinary Zion. Nothing was different compared to the previous matchups, but against King in the North, we ended up walking away with a win 7-2 on Clubhouse. <laughs> 皮卡有抓到對方的位置主动出去对枪还被绝可以反杀 to secure our first spot in the Taiwan League. Coming into the matchup against Ordinary Zion, the team put up a solid effort, but like the previous matchup against Ordinary Zion, the results were similar as we took the match 7-0 on Cafe. Oh.想要進點直接再拉過來一個一個身位被踢到聲音了關鍵的心理博弈結果是殺到千出好啦一口氣倒巨人一人應該是想要一口氣下去了皮卡先收掉頭毛而且冷櫃這個人成員皮卡直接摸進來到想要再一點頭結果是想要再
Odin out. 